you use 20% of your clothes for 80% of the time. About 20% of carpet gets 80% of the dirt and damage. The richest 20% people in the world have 80% of world's income. The 80% of England's real estate is owned by 20% of people. The 80% complaints of a company are from 20% of people. You use 20% of your mobile apps for 80% of your time. 20% of the customers in a company are responsible for the 80% of the profit earned. This principle shows up over and over again in about every field and it is called 80-20 or the Pareto's principle. The ratios may be different from one example to another but it has a deeper meaning and that is that the majority of the effects come from the minority of the causes. So let's take a look at how this works in business, social interactions, relationships and your very happiness. First of all, let's talk about business. A few months ago, I had built a blog and was getting my visitors from social media like Reddit, Pinterest, Twitter and other social media and forums. So I decided I was going to make the process more efficient. I looked into my data and guess what I found? For every 10 visitors that I got from Facebook, I only got one from Instagram, one from Twitter and a few more from other forums and social media. I thought I'm an idiot, I'm spending the same amount of time on all these platforms yet look at the results. So I basically completely removed out the ones with the least traffic and it freed up so much time for me to write genuine stuff, genuine articles that people were interested in. And that made a huge difference in how my blog performed. Now let's take a look at social interactions. In university, I generally spend the same amount of time with all my friends in a group of 10 people. But I realized that there were only 2 to 3 people who really generated value and happiness in my life. I'm not saying that from now on you should start by caught meeting people but dedicating my time to only those specific people brought literally huge changes in my life in terms of happiness and free time. Now let's look at relationships. A husband comes home from work. After spending straight 5 hours with her, the wife complains, you don't spend enough time with me. The guy has no idea what is going on. He just spent 5 hours with this woman. But did he really do that? In those 5 hours, even though he talked to her and was physically with her, his focus was also on watching TV half of the time, checking his emails, Facebook and his phone. Now let's take an example of some other guy who could have worked longer hours. He comes home and only spent an hour, literally a single hour with her and she would never complain because he would make that one hour all about her. Now let's talk about happiness. How well you allocate your free time goes a long way to encourage your happiness and general mood. Let's look at an example. I like good food so whenever I go out to eat at a nice place, it's mostly about the food and less about the ambience, music, environment so I decided to make a list of restaurants that I like. Now from that list I observed where am I paying more for ambience and less for taste and quality of food. I removed those restaurants from my list. Now let me tell you the great advantages I gained from this new list. Benefit number one is I don't have to choose now and even if I do have to choose the list is not so long and I can do it fairly quickly so saving my time. Benefit number two and the most obvious one like literally I am saving my money and those extra bucks that I am going to throw away just in the name of lightning and about which I don't give a shit. And benefit number three is that feel more happier that you had a good lunch while saving time and money. If you like this video so do not forget to subscribe my channel and give this video a big like.